September was a slow month in Bristol London Road, but we still managed to see 14 sales and a few remarkable sales. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader at Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center, and this is your sold report for October 2023. Today, we are on location in your community at our listing at 130 Robin Court, and this is an absolutely beautiful 2,400 square foot four bedroom home that had renovations top to bottom, really needs to be seen to be appreciated. If you wanna check it out, go to our listing on our website at toomsteam.com. All right, so let's get into it. The month of September, there was 14 sales for the whole community of Bristol London Road. 13 of them were freehold homes, while well, there was only one condo sale. Now keep in mind, there is only one condo building currently in your community at 155 Main Street North. So that number of sales volume for condos is really not that unusual, but Keep in mind, in the coming years, you're gonna have a lot of new condos coming to the market in the Bristol London Road area on Young Street as well as Davis Drive that'll really start to crank up those condo numbers. Of the 13 freehold sales, four of them were semi-detached homes. Ranging in price from 675,000 for a single family three plus two bedroom on Penn Avenue to $820,000 for a renovated multifamily unit on Walter Avenue. We should also note that there was a fixer upper semi that sold on Marlin Court for nearly $30,000 over the $675,000 asking price in only two days on the market. This goes to show that there is still really good demand for homes that are well-priced and in areas that are of good demand. Because Marlin Court is actually a nice street in the neighborhood of the Heights. Continuing on, nine of the freehold homes were detached homes in the neighborhood, which ranged in price from $952,000 for a renovated bungalow on Cherrywood Drive that had a basement apartment, to a beautifully renovated home on Yorkshire Drive, which sold for nearly $200,000 over their asking price and settled at $1.35 million. This was a really nice offering that had very few that could compare to it. Now I do wanna circle back to that home on Cherrywood that I just mentioned, as that home actually changed hands last year in August of 2022, when the current owner paid $939,000 for it. So when factoring in land transfer tax, which would have been in excess of $15,000, and presuming real estate fees of around 5%, I estimate that the owners of this property lost around $50,000 plus any carrying costs that would have been involved with it. Now this is just one example of this happening, but I can assure you that there is going to be many situations just like this occurring over the next six to 12 months. Now of these 14 sales, six of them were either at or above the asking price. New Market as a whole actually saw 25 sales either at or above the asking price, which represented actually around 40% of all the sales, which is still a high figure when you factor in the market conditions. But this is also thanks to the listing strategy of intentionally listing low to get a bidding war. Of these six remarkable sales, they include two homes on Yorkshire Drive, which were actually next door to each other and appeared to be owned by the same family members. They sold for 116 and 114% of the asking price. They were beautiful homes, by the way. Had a good chance to look at the homes online. Beautiful renovations to them. A lovely three bedroom home that sold on Wakefield Place for 113% of the asking price. Again, it was an intentionally low listing price though. And as a side note, growing up, I actually lived on that street with my mom. It's a great street, love that street. That bungalow on Cherrywood that we already spoke of, which actually sold after making a big adjustment from their initial listing price of a million fifty. They dropped their price after 19 days on the market by $150,000 to $899,000, and then they sold it for $57,000 over that asking price. Then there was the Marlin Court Semi we already talked about, sold for 104% of the asking price in two days on the market. And finally, there was a great two-story semi on Hillview Drive that sold for 102% of asking in nine days on the market. What I am watching for in this community is really the number of active listings and what it's going to do to prices. At the time of filming, there was actually 28 active listings in the whole community, four of them being condos at 155 Main Street North, 10 semis in New Market Heights, and 14 detached homes spread through the community. If inventory continues to rise, we're expecting to see some downward pressure on prices to really entice some of the more reluctant buyers to come into the market. It should be noted that homes like the ones on Yorkshire, which sold for way over the asking price, 
and homes that are nicely and professionally renovated can expect to see a good amount of interest in them from prospective buyers and will demand and deserve a premium price. All right, in summary, the market is soft, much softer than it was just a few months ago. Homeowners that are thinking about a sale really need to make sure your home is ready and that you have realistic expectations on what your home is going to fetch in the market. With inventory on the rise, you can expect to see new homes coming to the market that are priced aggressively and likely priced to undercut the existing inventory that's out there. Ultimately, they don't want to be the ones that are sitting on the market for weeks on end. Okay, buyers, don't think that you're going to have a ton of negotiating room on some of the more desirable real estate. Homes on good lots and locations are always going to be in demand regardless of the market. It's going to be the homes that are on the okay properties and lots and locations that are going to be sitting a little longer and take a little longer to sell. You're going to have a lot more negotiating power on those homes. If you have any questions about any of the information that's been provided in this report, please feel free to reach out to us. One of our team members would be happy to sit down with you either in person or online to discuss your family's real estate needs. This market is rapidly changing and working with an agent or team that has their finger on the pulse is going to be absolutely paramount for you in the real estate purchasing and selling process. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, we would love to talk and provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation. So you can have a better idea on what your home may be worth, so we can help strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.